te quiero llevar Quita tu ropa y vente pa' acá No hables más Deja que el tiempo pase igual Y el momento es todo que hay No hay tiempo a pensar en mal Let me talk to you. Te quiero llevar Quita tu ropa y vente pa' acá No hables más Deja que el tiempo pase igual Y el momento es todo Is hip hop dead? Ooh, that's a great question. I'd say yes and no. And the reason why I say, you know what, I take that back. I'll say no, it's not dead. I think that there's a lot of new uh, artists, hip hop artists, that have transitioned the genre of hip hop into something else like mumble rap and things like that. But a lot of sub genres coming, but that's always gonna happen. And that's the evolution of music. And then you still got OGs, and then you still got newbies like J. Cole, Kendrick, uh, Jimmy Lucas. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many, you know. There's, they just dropped, yeah. J. Cole's one of my favorite artists, me, my favorite artist on top of next to Tupac, I should say, but. Yeah, I would, I would say it's like, I see why people think it's dead, but I have hope in it. And I believe that there's still people like the people I mentioned, such as Kendrick and Cole, that are keeping it pushing. And you still got Nas dropping music. Yeah, he dropped you know, so if, if it was completely dead, I don't think my boy would be well, yeah, releasing yeah. anything, you know? That's where the question inspired from. Uh, yeah. Album, yeah, dead. it's hip-hop. Yeah, when hip-hop. I was younger, yeah. I was, uh, I was really impressionable. Yeah, and it ain't where it used to be. Let's be honest, growing up back in the days, like hip-hop, it was strictly lyricism. It was in like more melodies. And you, you didn't have these mumble rappers, the auto tune, and nah, none of that. You it was know, all so. about like your wordplay. Yeah. It was all about like, almost like your art. You know, you interpret it how you want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like there's an audience for everybody with social media. The world is grown, you know? Facts. And so the uh, next question is going to be uh, does the marathon continue? Oh man, all day. Every day. Rest in peace, Nipsey. Huge Nipsey fan. It, it, I think it continues and it'll continue for certain artists that believe in that movement, such as myself growing up in East Los Angeles. I, I feel like there are very few artists that are willing to stick to the script. Yeah. That's something that Nipsey was very good on. Like reality rap. Yeah, just real stories, so stuff that resonates with people uh, of different hoods and different cultures. See, that's one thing that you're going to see, like, no matter where you go in the world, all hoods always look the same. It looks the same. And I think that that leaves very few people, or even more than a few, uh, very hungry. And I'd like to say that I'm, I'm one of the very few that, that aspire to be, if not close as I can to Nipsey. There, there'll never be anything close or like anything identical. He's an icon, legendary, um, a story cut short, an independent. Yeah, that's something I seek to be. Um, I've been independent my whole life. I say if I were to get signed, I'd only go sign a call. And that's because his artists literally are storytellers. All of them, his whole lineup, if you look at that. But yeah, it's epic. Yeah, but Baz is cause, Earth Gang, you got Luke just dropped the album. Then he, man, it just, it goes on, you know. I'm gonna start looking like I work for them if I start promoting their artists. But yeah, the marathon continues, for sure. I appreciate that. Is success a journey or a destination? I think it's both. Uh, the reason why I say that is because people find success on their journey on the way to a destination. You know, so for me, it's, it's like for me, it's like I can't say I have a specific destination other than wanting to reach higher and higher each time. You know, my journey to seek more and to try and reach higher and higher. I, I get increments of success and it keeps me pushing to a further destination. Yeah, like just continue to elevate. Yeah, just keep pushing. Uh, let's see. Who brings out the best in you? I'd say it's my mother and my nephews. I love being around my nephews, my godson. I just feel like 
I'm able to give back to them what my aunt gave to me. May she rest in peace. But she was always feeding me like good knowledge. Like you could be anything you want to be. And just always pushing me to be the greatest version of myself. And I feel like I am that when I'm around them. That's what's Because, you know, I'm who they look up to. I feel you. So. That's a good feeling. Yeah, for sure. That's a great feeling. Uh, have you ever had your heart broken? <laughs> I have. I have. Absolutely. Um, I think that's what happens when you're willing to love, though, sometimes. It doesn't work out. And, I feel you. You know, I'll take it. I feel you. Wasn't pretty, but... It happens. It happens. I appreciate it. Bittersweet. Is life what you make it? Honestly, yeah. For me, it is. Like, everything you experience in life has been a thought in your mind before. I feel like you, we, you truly manifest moments like right now. I want people to give me platforms and be able to uh, let other people get to know who I am. You know, let me, let me be heard. Uh, let me be me. Let me show who I am outside of an artist. I feel you. You know, I'm a warm, funny, loving human being. So. That's what's up. Yeah, we are creators, you know? Yeah, we create our world. Uh, does teamwork make the dream work? Yes. Yes. Put your people on. They don't know. Teach them. Be willing to learn. Be willing to teach. Be willing to feed them. You know, what you invested in. Like, I believe in that. Yeah. For sure. I feel that. Let's see. The sex sell. You know what? It fucking does. And it, I'm, excuse me, I'm not sure if I could cuss enough. No, yeah, you get it, you know? It, it does sell, and uh, it gets me mad. Because. Well, yeah, because they're teaching young women to to be sexy, but sexy ain't where, where your brains are, you know? Like, you're asking where your brain is. And I think that there's so many other things that are sexy about humans and this intelligence, caring, being a good person, being nice. But unfortunately, in the world we live in, this gets more attention. Sex gets more attention than, than most. So it sells for sure. If it didn't, then there wouldn't be a lot of successful humans in the world right now. And I don't <laughs> want to specifically say women, but come on. Yeah. You know, it's the yeah. truth. In my opinion, of course. That's a great answer. When one door closes, does another open? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I say life is constantly evolving. Like, nothing stays the same. I feel you on that. I feel you. Yeah, you just got to keep knocking on the door. Like, when the door closes, it don't matter. Ring the doorbell, do something. Yeah, there's so many different ways to enter a house. That's why I look at success. Like, you could enter a home through a garage. If the garage is open, cool, there's windows. The windows don't work, there's a door. The door yeah. don't work, to go behind the back back door. That's real talk. Like, there's, there's so many ways, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, that's real, you know what I'm saying? Are you appreciated? Every moment, every moment that I'm breathing. I appreciate life, I appreciate all, I appreciate you, I appreciate her, I appreciate the dog, I appreciate everything. I feel you. I have so much gratitude towards life. I've almost lost my life, like, in different ways that it just... It's a blessing to be here. Yeah. I, I try to appreciate everything. I try to share that with everybody. Like, not to be that corny person constantly being emotional, but it is what it is. No, like, but I you are what you speak. I appreciate life. I appreciate all. I try to practice that every day. For nah, sure. I like that. Yeah. Right, let's see. Is beauty in the eye of the beholder? Yeah. I like to think that there's beauty in all. Really, it really is. It's all in perception. It's all you know, perception. It's what you see. Yeah, because we could look at this this chair right here, for example, that bench over there, and we could look at it like it's boring. It yeah. ain't happening, but there could just also be someone that likes to sit down and read yeah. or observe people, and that's like their getaway. Yeah, it's like yeah. you determine the value ultimately, like with your perception. So I feel you on that, you know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you.